A very warm welcome to all of you. Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 18th of January's God's Blessing. Supreme Godfather is saying in a spiritual manner that it is very important for us to be in silence within so as to spread peace all over the world. Now, where does that silence come from? It is a method to be quieter within. It's not about stopping your thoughts, by the way. It's about making sure that your thoughts are very pure. That means they are divine, they are elevated, they are pure, they are actually benevolent. And when you are making such pure thoughts, automatically your thoughts are more silent. They are like a sinusoidal wave which is going in a very nice form as compared to something which is going like this. That means tension, stress, what will happen, how it will happen. And when we make these thoughts become silent and pure and divine, that's when we are in peace and we are spreading peace all over around us. So let's see what does God have to say in today's Godly Blessing. In his own words, he says, May you be a master bestower of peace and become an instrument to establish the new world with the power of silence. It's about inner silence, not this silence. So God says, in order to accumulate the power of silence, how do you accumulate it? Stay beyond your body and become bodiless. Now, throughout the day, we are thinking about what to eat, what to wear, how to earn money, how to become more wealthier, and we are thinking only about physical progress. So God is saying, for some time, become bodiless. That means, stop thinking about your physical progress, start thinking about your conscious spiritual progress. That means, align yourself with me. Come to the world where I live, that is the supreme abode, the red golden world, the Brahma Loka, or the Nirvan Dham, or the Alame Arvaha. Come to that world. Now, where is that world? Is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. Then God says, this power of silence is a very great power. The new world is established with it. Because the new world means the golden age, the age of complete divinity. That means heaven and earth. That is established not out of complete chaotic thoughts, but out of pure thoughts. Then God says, those who are beyond sound, the world Paramdham or Brahma Loka, is a world which is beyond the noises of this world, beyond the visions which you see through your eyes, beyond the sound which you are hearing right now. So that world is a world of complete silence. You can go to that world and be completely in inner silence and feel the power of that place, feel the power of silence. Then God says, those who are beyond sound and stable in their form of silence will be able to carry out the task of establishment means they'll be able to help other souls out to become peaceful. Therefore, be a bestower of peace. That is, be an embodiment of peace and bestow rays of peace on peaceless souls. The world has got 99% souls peaceless. Now, how do you give them peace? You're sitting over here. You can give them peace by becoming peaceful. That means you're a powerful being, infinite being who can spread rays of peace. But when you become peaceful, only then. But if you are agitated, if you are frustrated, you are irritated about certain circumstances or people around you, then you are spreading the vibrations of peacelessness. And that's reaching out to the world, by the way. So God then says, this is the most loved and powerful thing which you as a child of God or a creation of God can do along with Him. Now to learn the method of being in silence, reaching out to that world where we came from, the Paramdham, that is happening only when you do the seven day course. You can do it online with me, by the way, if you want to. Or you can go ahead and you can reach out to the Brahma Kumari Center. Do let me know. Om Shanti.